Moving on now to our other big story this morning. According to the New York Times, millions of Americans have paid more taxes than President Donald Trump. The newspaper says it obtained a slew of the president's tax returns, which show he actually paid no taxes for a decade. Channel 3's Roger Susanna joined us now live at the digital desk with the latest on this story. So, Roger, what does the president have to say about this report? Yeah, good morning, Nicole. As you can imagine, the president is not happy about this report. Of course, it's so explosive because President Trump has declined to disclose his tax returns over the years. But now that the New York Times claims to have them in their possessions, the president is denying everything. It's fake news. It's totally fake news. President Trump's tax returns are back in the spotlight after an explosive report from the New York Times. The newspaper says it obtained more than two decades of Trump's tax information, which it says shows he paid no federal income taxes at all in 10 of 15 years starting in the year 2000 because he reported losing significantly more than he made. First of all, I paid a lot, and I paid a lot of state income taxes, too. Uh, the New York State charges a lot, and I paid a lot of money in state. But the Times says in terms of federal income taxes, Trump paid just $750 the year he won the presidency, and another $750 his first year in the White House. Time and time again, Trump has said he'd share his returns once they are no longer under audit by the Internal Revenue Service. As soon as my tax returns, I, it, it's under audit. They've been under audit for a long time. The IRS does not treat me well. But keep in mind, the president is not required to hold his tax returns while they're under audit. The Times report outlines extensive financial losses from struggling Trump properties, years of alleged tax avoidance, and hundreds of millions of dollars in debt coming due. It'll all be revealed. It's going to come out. Now, that report did first come out yesterday afternoon. We expect to hear more from the president later today. And then the issue will certainly be a topic of conversation when President Trump and Joe Biden square off in the first presidential debate, which happens on Tuesday night. You can watch that debate right here on Channel 3. Live at the Digital Desk, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.